tide makes sense. Why is that? We're well below the deep roads. Whatever dwarves lived here, they came long before the first blight. But where are the statues of Paragons? I don't recognize these markings on the wall or anything in the rubble. Whatever's here must be very rare and valuable. Hmm. Possibly. These dwarves might have been unique. If so, I hope they kept their valuables close at hand. Somehow, I swear my life on it. What do you have in mind? I don't know, but I will find a way. Whatever's through there, it seems still intact. Think we'll find anything? Bartrand is far more enthralled with this place than you are. Unlike him, I wasn't born in Orzammar. I wouldn't even be down here if there wasn't profit in it. This entire place gives me the chills. Let's hope it's worth it. Chances are we won't find anything but even more darkspawn and rubble. Maybe bones? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose we'll need to go down there to find out.
see what I'm seeing? Is that lyrium? Who cares? It's shiny. Doesn't look like any kind of lyrium I've ever seen. Look at this, Bartran. An idol made out of pure lyrium, I think. Could be worth a fortune. anything further in. You do that. The door! Bartren! It's shut behind you! <laughs> you always did notice everything, Varric. Are you joking? You're going to screw over your own brother for a lousy idol? Not just the idol. The location of this tiger alone is worth a fortune. And I'm not splitting that three ways. Sorry, brother. Bartrand! Bartrand! Oh, I swear I will find that son of a bitch. I and I will kill him. Oh, let's hope there's a way out of here.
those things. Creatures harmed without need. I'd say being attacked on sight gives us plenty of need. They will not assault you further, not without my permission. What are these things? They seem like rock wraiths, but... They hunger. The profane have lingered in this place for ages beyond memory, feeding on the magic stones until the need is all they know. They eat delirium. Sounds like a healthy diet. I am not as they are. I am... a visitor. We're visitors as well, but I doubt we're from the same place. I am of the Fade, lured by their hunger. It is a feast that sustains me well, and I would not see it end. I sense your desire. You seek to leave this place, but you will need my aid to do so. There's going to be a catch. What are our options? Why do we need your aid to leave? There is another door that leads into the paths far above us. That is what you seek. It has been sealed, however, and cannot be opened without a key. I know where the key is. Do as I ask, and I shall tell you. Aha! You see? I knew there'd be a catch. Hmm. So what do you think? What have we got to lose? Very wise. There is a crypt, not far from here, guarded by a creature that has confounded me for too long. Slay it, and freedom is yours. What is this place? This is the vault. The dwarves would have brought there.
Whew. The rock wraiths are supposed to be dwarven legends. They're not even supposed to be real. Looked pretty real to me. I suppose it doesn't matter. Look at what it was guarding. That is not yours. The key you require is in the chest. Leave all else, for it is mine. Psst. Not to uh, point out the obvious, but can you imagine what this stuff would be worth on the surface? You will not. It is mine, all of it. Take only the key, or I shall destroy you. You mind? Way ahead of you. Bianca says the treasure is ours. Good. You found the key. Let's collect the best pieces we can carry out of here and then go. I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> hasn't exactly been our strong point so far. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> the treasure we found in that crypt far outstrips Bartrand's stupid idol. He'll be green with envy when he finds out. As soon as I get the chance, I'll look up my contacts to make sure we get the best price. I imagine you'll want to head home, tell your family the good news. We're going to be rich. What's going on? Please don't do anything. Mistress Bethany is being taken to the Circle of Magi in the Gallows. The Gallows is horrible. You can't go there. I have to. That's where the apostates go, isn't it? Consider yourselves fortunate. The Viscount has requested we spare your family the punishment for harboring a dangerous mage. Oh, Bethany. What will happen to you? Don't worry, Mother. I'll be fine. Look after her, big brother. <laughs> so the champion's sister was in the circle. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? Driven from their home, a sister taken against her will, 
And the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that warden, Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the Deep Roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world. Literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who he was now. Even the Viscount was taking us. Bethany was in the circle now. There was nothing we could do for her. Poor girl. Three years later, the Kunari still had the rest. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better.